You heard it at the top. We're joined by K.J. Osborne out here in Vegas as you see the stats from a successful 2023 season. K.J., how's it going? It's going great, man. Thanks for having me. K.J., you were in a offense of the Vikings with so many great weapons. Obviously, Justin Jefferson, Kirk Cousins as your quarterback before he got hurt. Kevin O'Connell, great offensive coach. What was it like being a part of that squad this year that had so much success through the air? I mean, it's always great, man. Uh, you know, obviously led by Kirk, you know, he went down. But, you know, we have so many, you know, weapons. You know, myself, J.J., T.J., you know, yeah. J.A. came on and, you know, had a, a fantastic rookie season. Um, you know, just we just know anybody can make a play at any time, you know. So it's, it's fun, you know, really being in offense like that. Yep. KJ, one of my favorite games from the past couple of years was when you guys came back against the Colts right. uh, when you were down a million at halftime. Right. What was the experience being a part of such a crazy game like that? Oh, man, it was crazy. It, it was crazy. You know, after we found out that was the biggest comeback in NFL history, yeah. we won a division that night. Uh, you know, it was just very, very special um, to, to the organization and, you know, just in NFL history, you know, to go down like that definitely, definitely kept the jersey. During, awesome. during that game, did you guys have a sense of like, because you were down so far, it was just like, right. ah, let's just go out. At, mm. at what point during that game you were like, holy crap, we might have a chance here. Right. Uh, it was, I would say, in sometime in the fourth quarter uh, where, you know, where we started to come back a little bit. At, at one point, you know, just don't look at the scoreboard, just play. And the thing about the first half of that game is, you know, uh, credit to the Colts. Obviously, they, they were playing great football. We, we, we hurt ourselves a lot, though, turning yeah. the ball over, you know, self-inflicted. Uh, you know, we know we were, we were a good team. So, you know, we came back in the second half, just try to put drives together. And next thing you know, you know, we're, we're down 14 points. Or at one point I said 33. You know, is there still time on the clock? And, uh, you know, we were able to come back. And, like, it, it, was, it was a great game. You played. Oh, well, go ahead. I was just going to ask one more. I'm sorry. So, yeah, I'm probably going to ask the same question you are. So, Vikings this year, you guys played the 49ers. Speaking right. of teams that have to come back. Right. And they've had right. a couple of Viking-like comebacks uh, the last couple of weeks. So, you guys played the Niners. You played the Chiefs mm -hmm. this season. How do you think this game plays out on Sunday? Do you have a winner? I think the Chiefs are going to pull it off. Okay. Uh, the Chiefs have been have been doubted all year uh, because they haven't looked, you know, as dominant, you know, in, as in the past. But I mean, Pat Mahomes, man, I mean, what he's been doing, I mean, it's kind of you know undeniable. You know, him, you know, Kelsey showed up last game. I think he had 11 targets, 11 catches. You know, played amazing as he always does in the playoffs. Um, you know, I, I definitely think though it's going to come down to the wire. You know, as every game does, three point, ten point game. Uh, where either Pat Mahomes going to have to do his magic or, uh, you know, the, the 49ers and Purdy, you know, do their magic. You know, they have plenty of great players on that side of the ball as well. So, um, you know, I think, you know, somehow Pat Mahomes always ends up pulling it off somehow. But, uh, you know, I think it would be a great game. I'm curious what it was like playing against each of those defenses. Right. You know, as a wide receiver, when you were preparing for the Niners defense, you were preparing for the Chiefs defense. Right. Both of those defense among the best in mm -hmm. the NFL. The first thing I always think about with the, 49, the 49ers defense is the physicality. I mean, and it starts with, with Fred Warner, you know, who's, who's a great football player. Uh, but their DBs as well, like, they, they have that mindset. They play with that chip on their shoulder. Um, so that's the first thing that, that, you know, that comes to mind when I, when I see them play. Um, and the Chiefs as well, you know, they have, you know, a, a great secondary, um, you know, with Snead, like they're, they're aggressive, you know, Chris Jones, you know, getting after the quarterback, stuff like that. Um, they're, they're playing well together. You know, they have some, some you know, all pro guys in the slot and things like that. Uh, so, I'm, like I said, it's a bunch of great players on the field. And I think it'll come down to uh, the wire. You had a lot of success in Minnesota, but mm -hmm. now you get the exciting opportunity of free right. agency. What's right. your mindset like going into that? What mm -hmm. are you prioritizing? Oh, man, I'm just excited for it, man. I think there will be some offers on the table, Oh yeah. Um, you know, God willing. And, uh, you know, I'm excited for it. You know, my first time going around it, you know, I've, I've spoken with my with my team. You know, we have some, you know, some priorities, some things that we would like. But, um, you know, when that time comes, you know, I'll be prepared for it. Um, I'm, I'm excited. Okay. KJ, this season with Minnesota, um, started four different quarterbacks. Mm -hmm. Just wondering what the process was like, particularly mm -hmm. after Kirk went down and, you know, often changing quarterback week to week, just the preparation. Right. I mean, do you feel like you guys were scrambling? And mm -hmm. I think you did, you know, very well. I think particularly about the, the game in Atlanta where mm -hmm. Josh Dobbs oh, yeah. comes in and you yeah. win. Like, what was just the process week to yeah. week with you know, quarterback changes? It was very different, man. It was very different. Um, it makes you, one, you know, cherish the guy you got. You know, there's, there's 32 starters in the, in the NFL. Um, you know, and every one of those guys are, are special. You know, and we see that when, when Kirk went down, you know, just how much an impact it had on the total organization, you know, on the field and off the field. Um, but, you know, it, I wouldn't really say it was a scramble, you know, but you got to trust your guys, man. You know, everybody in there, you know, uh, Nick Mullins, you know, everybody else that, that came in, um, you know, we had just tremendous confidence in each one of the quarterbacks, you know, every week. And our job as receivers was to, you know, to try to make it easy for them, you know, try to be as wide open as possible and, uh, you know, just make it easy for them, you know, anytime we're out there. So, uh, you know, we trust in and whoever was getting put in the game. Hey, KJ, uh, you know, we're a fantasy football show, and mm -hmm. so 
Uh, you were a very popular waiver wire pickup. You've been <laughs> on a lot of fantasy uh, yeah. fantasy football teams, including my own. Yeah. Um, which, by the way, won our show league. I beat these a holes. Oh, just so yeah, you know, yeah, I just yeah, I yeah. want to bring that up. Um, you were uh, you were on the championship squad. Just so you know, okay. uh, live okay. at noon on the yeah. cock. Yeah. That was my team name. <laughs> so uh, your championship ring is in the mail. All right. But All I'm right. just curious, how often, KJ, does fantasy football come up in your life? Do any of your friends or family play? Mm -hmm. Have you ever played? Right. Do your do you know people hit you up? Right. Just, I'm curious. Yeah, people people definitely hit me up about it. I honestly don't have a lot of knowledge about it. I just know something about you know. Obviously, if you play good, you get a lot of points. Yep. So you know, yeah, I, I, I get people that <laughs> yeah. I get people that that message me. You know, thank me when I when I have big games or people that tell me I won them their leagues. Uh, my parents and my family they don't really ask me much about it. Uh, if anything, they ask me. You know, try, they're doing all their all their betting stuff. <laughs> and I'm like I'm like man, I don't know nothing about what y'all got going on, man. <laughs> That's the so, right answer. Yeah. Don't I'll give like, anyone any betting I'll information. Like, I, don't know, I don't know anything. Yo, what y'all got going on, man? So no, they they kind of keep me out of that stuff. So you're here with us thanks to Sleep Number. What do you got going on with them? Oh, man, I've had a Sleep Number deal for a couple years now, and I'm a big, big advocate on my sleep and my recovery. Um, it's something that I, that I truly, you know, take pride in. You know, I look at my Sleep Number score every day. I look at how long it took me to go to sleep. I look at, you know, how I move throughout the night because, personally, I know how it affects me. And if I don't sleep, I can feel it the next day. And, you know, and I said, if I do sleep well, when I do wake up, I know I slept well, so, you know, I'll have that extra boost, you know what I'm saying? So. Um, you know, I've encouraged it to, to everybody that I speak to. You know, I'm in the off season now, so I won't be able to sleep in my bed, you know, every night. So uh, I'm not I'm not excited about that. But, uh, you know, Sleep Number has been a, a great partnership for me, and I, I recommend it. Yeah. Well, as someone who's been in Vegas for a week now, certainly mm -hmm. learning about needing to prioritize sleep, oh, yeah. um, fading, oh, yeah. fading quickly, KJ. <laughs> um, heading into the off season, is there anything in particular you want to work on about your game? Anything that yeah. you're looking to change heading into next season? I mean, there there will be things, you know, the season's, you know, the off season's still early right now. Um, but there will be a time, you know, coming up here pretty soon where I'll go back and, you know, watch all my tape. And you know, you know, be able to really break down our what are the things I want to get better at, what are, what are the the strengths that I have that I want to improve on. Um, so there will definitely be a time for that. KJ Osborne, thanks for joining us, man, and good course, luck man. with free agency this Thank year. You, man. All right, Thank you, KJ. Thank Hey, it's Matthew Berry from NBCSports.com and RotorWorld.com, and I want to thank you so much for watching whatever it is you just watched, or if nothing else, being too lazy to click out of the autoplay after this video started, after whatever it is you actually wanted to watch finished. But now that you're here, I'd like to take a moment here to ask you respectfully, respectfully now, okay? I'm asking you respectfully to subscribe to the NFL on NBC YouTube channel. You'll get the latest Roto World fantasy news headlines, all sorts of great shows, including my own fantasy football happy hour. So go subscribe now. Again, I'm asking respectfully.